Welcome to Jen's Daily Dish. Today we're going to be making hot, buttered, soft pretzels. Oh yes! Just like the kind you would find in New York or Chicago or any big city under those umbrellas on the street. But these are far better because they're fresh from your oven. Mmm! Let's make some hot pretzels, can't resist them. Let's make them so soft you just want to kiss them. Kit, kiss them? Hmm, that's all I could figure out that rhymed, but you're going to eat them. Charlie, did you know that you can make this recipe in your bread machine? Did you know that you can make it in your food processor? Or by hand? Or with your mixer? Why, yes, Charlie, you're so smart. Because my mixer is my workhorse in the kitchen, we're going to go ahead and use it for this. But pay attention to Charlie's advice. The recipe calls for bread flour specifically to give it a nice chew. Well, that's one of those ingredients I don't have in my kitchen yet again. So I'm using all-purpose flour, but the recipe should turn out just fine anyway. Let's do this. Two and a half cups bread flour or all-purpose. One teaspoon salt. One teaspoon sugar. Two and a quarter teaspoons instant yeast. Lot of yeast. Party time. Seven eighths to one cup of warm water. Start with seven eighths and work your way up to a full cup. In case, just in case you need it. Mix until it makes a smooth, soft, elastic dough. Feel free to add in a little bit of flour along the way if you need it, or a little bit of water. Have you forgotten to like or subscribe? Go ahead, do it now. It helps me out a whole lot. Um, YouTube will be able to find me better when you like and subscribe, and then I'll be able to make more videos. It's a win-win. Need for about five to eight minutes. All right, it has been kneading for quite some time. Let's check it. You'll notice that it's not sticking to the sides of the bowl, and that is what you want. And the dough is very soft, just like we want it. Let's see if it's elastic. When you push in, it should start to bounce back. Did you see that? See how it's bouncing back? That means we have the perfect dough for our pretzels. Put it in a lightly greased bowl, cover it for 30 minutes. While you wait for your dough to rise, preheat your oven to 475 degrees. It's a hot one. Now let's make the topping for the pretzels. This topping is what is going to give them a lovely golden brown color. And it's just baking soda and water. That's it. Let's make it happen. One cup water, which we are going to get to a boiling state. Add two tablespoons of baking soda, woo, to your boiling water and stir until dissolved. Let cool to lukewarm or cooler. Feel free to leave it in your pot or transfer it into something else. It has been 30 minutes, and take a look. That rose quite a bit. Excellent. Take your dough and place it on a lightly greased surface. I'm using my pastry mat, so I really don't have to do that. 
check out my video on my top seven kitchen gadgets because this is one of them and it is indispensable and cheap. After placing this on our surface, we're gonna divide it into eight ropes or pretzels. Divide into eight equal pieces. Let the eight pieces of dough rest for five minutes. Remember your baking soda and water mixture? Pour it into a nine by nine pan or something a similar size. Now let's make the dough balls into pretzel shapes. Roll each into a log about 28 to 30 inches long and then do that fun twisty pretzel thing. Place your pretzels in the baking soda water mix. We're gonna see if we can get all four, four in here at a time. I think we can. And spoon the water over them. Set your timer for two minutes. When two minutes is up, Move them on over to your baking sheet covered in parchment paper. Now we're going to sprinkle them with some kosher salt. If you have something called pretzel salt, it will be coarser and would be delicious on top. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle them now and then let them rest for about 10 minutes. It's oven time. Put them in for about eight to nine minutes. Keep an eye on them. They should be a beautiful golden brown. All right, I think they're done. Ooh, look how beautiful they look. Oh, wow. Melt three tablespoons of butter. The instructions are very specific to thoroughly, yes, thoroughly brush the melted butter on top of your hot pretzels. What a brilliant idea. Let them cool just a little bit, enough so that you don't burn your mouth. Feel free to refrigerate them, put them in your freezer, reheat them in your microwave, your oven, all good stuff. Oh yes, the perfect hot buttered soft pretzel. Mmm, if you could only smell them. Well you can because you can make them. It is soft. Look at that. That is great. They are nice and buttery. And they have a coating of the kosher salt on them as well. There's only one thing left to do. Let's taste it. 
going to break off a piece. Oh, look at that. Oh my. The dough is perfect inside. Mmm. Let's try. That is delicious. <laughs> it is buttery and salty and bready, if you can say that. It is just what you want. If you can't make it to New York or Chicago these days or any other big city, this is a great substitute for those hot buttered soft pretzels. Mmm. So good. If I can do this after never having made pretzels before, you can too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video with your friends so they too can make hot, buttered, soft pretzels. Mm! You can make the recipe by hand. <laughs> Did you? You can make this. In <laughs> you can make this in the food processor. You can make this in the food processor.